do you think that there is uh, like things have gotten a lot more feminine or do you think it's not really do you not see it that way he's trying to get us to piss off the feminists yeah should we do it I don't think do it. Not, I don't think do it. feminists do it. aren't that feminine if you want to <laughs> <laughs> I, I, t- I tell you which is like so I was a teacher for however long and um, the, you're a edu- teacher yeah yeah education is becoming more feminine way more feminine Mm. And you know, like, uh, so it's uh, so there was one study done that, for instance, uh, we treat boys a lot worse than we treat girls in school. And there was many studies done, and this has been verified, however, however many studies. A boy who commits the same misdemeanor or transgression in the classroom as a girl will be way more punished than a girl. In many cases, a girl will be let off. The boy they that would seems like all yeah probably all everything's yeah. like that you know yeah. what I mean yeah, seems yeah. Like life. crimes as well yeah and you know and what is what has actually happened is it's the bigotry of low expectations I I went to uh, so part of teachers being a teacher is you go to teacher training and I had one person who sat me down and was explaining to me why I shouldn't expect boys to be able to to write as much as girls in an English lesson. And that was explained to me. They were like, oh, they just can't concentrate for longer. And, you know, boys are more active. They're more fidgety. And it's like, no, what you're doing is you are destroying their chances of becoming and loving literature because you're saying that they're less capable. Yeah. This is the oldest thing in the book. Yeah. And, and And, you know, as a kid, if someone just says, oh, I expect less from you, the vast majority of kids are going to go, what, I get the fuck about? Great. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. You yeah. know, and that is right the way through the education system. But Ryan, it's why terrible. do you ask about the, the feminization? You feel that it's it's something that's important and it's happening? Well, I think it's sort of when you look at the. Uh, it's funny to me that when you know you talk about the comedy thing, like you mm. say that you're sort of like a uh, centrist type of guy that will mm. get you know people would consider you this other thing. I also feel like that's the same thing where I'd be like, dude, I was like this. Uh, you know, kind of musician, artist, guy with piercings and tattoos. Like, I would, you know, I mean, but in a lot of ways, I guess my way that my brain works, and I'm very bloke culture, sort of, mm. and for better words. Yeah. But, like, but it's funny where it's like I would have been considered, like, look at this toxic, you know, got my toxic male energy. So I think it's happened in, like, a lot of different things. But I'm kind of, uh, which is for super masculine dudes just talking about <laughs> fucking yeah. dude shit. But, I mean, well, for one, it's like, that's what our podcast talks about a lot. But uh, also... My specific thing is that a lot of these things are, yeah, feminine energy taking over, like whether COVID or... So Mm. if you just look at like, I mean, in a lot of ways you could say like Canada kind of operates like a girl country and can't, Mm. you know, so, but that's why in Canada that kind of operates like a girl country, it's like people are safer, but they do want that. So it's like, it's hard to always say what's better like even when you look at china that's very authoritarian and you're like that's bad and you're like well not if everyone thinks that it's kind of weird it's like you have to put the what's yeah, happening on top of what they are what their like natural culture is right yeah a tiny portion of them probably don't want it well it's like you know if you think of yeah like like just a, as a fact like black culture is kind of more masculine than white culture like that's mm-hmm. a pretty thing mm-hmm. i think most people could agree with so when then you say like hey they're, they're operating really feminine here it's like well it depends on what you're layering that on top of right mm. Right, and and what what your own view of that whole thing is? Look, the thing is, I'm I'm wary. I I I love pissing off feminists, but I'm now that we've done so many interviews with various feminists, it's like I, I don't want to insult them all because some of them are actually pretty cool and they're doing the right thing. Well, I don't yeah. necessarily think it's feminists because yeah. I think that yeah, that's why I wasn't saying that. Like, I think that to be honest, like. Uh, what we've talked about a lot, like culture war stuff, but there is just underneath that, like male female dynamics, yeah. like you. It, like not in the realm of you know any sort of politics you know what i mean yeah yeah. i have a very selfish view of that whole thing which is i think i think you're right society is moving in it's it's moving in a more feminine direction and and men are encouraged to be more feminine Mm. now which is fucking great if you don't go along with it as a man (laughs) that's a pretty good point yeah yeah. (laughs) Yeah. right yeah Yeah. that's a great point yeah because you're just like yo if because at the end of the day the women don't want that so, I mean, yeah, more, like, it's yeah, not, women are not like I want my guy to be most way more them. feminine. No, yeah. <laughs> no. So if you stick to what you know is healthy it's masculinity, like, yes, I'm a guy, yeah, well, you, you're yeah, you're yeah. gonna, you know, I'm happily married and have been for twenty years, but you, you're like gonna twenty cl- years, yeah, you're gonna clean up. Yeah. That's my take on it. Yeah. <laughs> Just be 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 a, a be a man, and be comfortable. Don't be too far 
into it. Do you know and there's I mean? a more natural contrarian. Generally, not being far in, too far into anything is right. Pretty yeah. Well, but that's that's the whole fucking yeah. point, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah exactly. don't be too far in one side yeah. or the other. But but thing. also, don't allow people to to sort of tell you that being a man is toxic because it's fucking not. Right. Yeah. yeah. It's just, th- and that's what th- I am happy with that. Like, I am going to be a man the way that my parents brought me up, and I'm happy with that. My wife's happy with that. That's how I'm going to bring up my son. That's it. And he's going to clean up too. <laughs> clean up. <laughs> Someone's watching yeah. this right now, being like just seething. He's like, two oh, months old. I'm projecting it. into the future. <laughs> but you know what I mean? That, that that's no, the I thing. Do. Yeah. Because a lot of this cultural shit, like you can tell people this, but when it comes to their personal preferences. That ain't what they want. Yeah, that no. ain't what women. But want. I mean, I, that's why I've kind of always related back to that because it's like if I look at so many things, everyone can say all the stuff that they stand for, and then in real life, they're all just like, "Yeah, I got to say that because it works." This like is my point. Yeah. So it's everything's kind of um, everything's I think moved in like a phony direction, yeah. which in my opinion is feminine because that's like if a group of girls are together, <laughs> yeah, yeah, no one would really say what they actually think a lot of the times. So it all I don't it always comes back to that where I feel like that's all. Of those things is and it, i don't even think it's what's better or worse it just kind of like is it's like that is the natural like order of how a bunch of girls kind of hang out and the natural order of how mm. guys so it's like or like a bunch of comics. so a lot of times yeah you're just like when a guy a lot of times is like oh i like this better it's like well you just like kind of like girl dynamics better than guy dynamics mm. yeah yeah and there's a lot of evidence as well like the women like this woke shit yeah on average. I, yeah. yeah they like it well they yeah, yeah. more than men a well they like like men. I think it's more about. I mean, the you if you everything has is positive and negative. If you go the positive is that if someone's doing bad, they want to help them up. Yeah, yeah. With the negative is if someone's going up, they want to pull them down. Right. Yeah, it's yeah. you know women like to squish the mean. They like to squish the mean. Yeah, yeah. And and to me, the healthy thing for an individual to do is to try and balance those things up inside of yourself. So I've I've spent a lot of time like observing female family members and learning how like, how do they resolve like because as a guy you're you've got two options like you fight or you 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 leave like that's yeah. kind of how you start out mm, yeah. but you've got to layer things on top of that so how do you resolve situations a bit more diplomatically like this that? is the new clips channel hit us with a subscribe let's get those numbers up thank you peace